What's up, guys? J.R. Raymond back again, coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center here inside Waterford Lanes, where today we're going to take out that controversial piece, the Rattler by, uh, by Radical. It's their lower diff, that 035 ball. Looks an awful lot like a Venom Shock. This is that 248. You know, same thing. I think a Venom Shock was 248034. This is 248035. Same color scheme and everything. Let's see if it rolls anything like that. I know a lot of people were complaining, saying, you know, the biggest compliment is in imi imitation. Is that what they said? Something along those lines? But we're going to take a look, and we're going to see if this thing's got anything good in it. Um, but it is the typical layout. I did the 45 by 4.5 by 45 on this one, um, just because I want to be able to compare it to other different bowling balls. So we're going to take it out here on the typical 44-foot lead condition here in a minute. Stay tuned. They say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the new Rattler by Radical. This was the typical 45 by four and a half by 45 layout. Um, oh no, I'm sorry. It is 25 by four and a half by four and a half by four and a half by 45. I kicked that CG out because it's symmetrical. Just put that little bit of extra weight over to the side. But we're gonna try and do the same thing as normal. And we wanna see if this ball's any good. And I know a lot of controversy behind this ball. People saying that it is a lot like the Venom Shock or it is a replica because of the numbers and the color and everything else. Well, let's find out. I actually picked up quite a bit from that part of the lane. And that's the first shot that's gone down this lane, so it's not like it's very uh, beat up or anything. So I didn't throw another one. We'll go just, I just want to go three left. We'll go three and two left. See if it'll sit in that spot a little bit better. A little better. I got that one going to the right. And it picked up, just didn't quite go through the pens. And again, I'm, I'm trying to roll it forward. I'm not trying to do anything crazy. And with the lower differential of this ball, it shouldn't be super strong. It should just be a good all-around piece that'll let you do almost whatever you want. Try and move two more left to finish a five board move. And it definitely picks up down lane way more than I thought it would. But it's got good motion. It's getting through the pins okay as far as how it's it's not, it doesn't look like it's bailing too bad down lane. Looks like it's picking up and trying to drive through, so that's good. We just, as we go left, maybe we'll get lined up. Go three more left. There you go. That one hit hard. That one hit really hard. That was impressive. Thumb's kind of hanging on me a little bit. I'm going to switch that out. Go to my other thumb. A little bit bigger thumb. So we can clear it just a little quicker. Maybe that's why it's a little jumpy down lane. Let me throw that shot again in that spot. See how it rolls with this new thumb. Ooh, that one clears much faster. Oh, hit it. Oh, short. All right, that one clears much faster. So I'm gonna try to, let me throw one more back to the right now that's clearing faster off my hand. Clearing faster meaning it's coming off my thumb quicker. So it's a lot smoother in the front part of the lane. I'm gonna try this little bit of a move to the right. So you can 
see it get much further down lane because it's clearing faster, smoother off my hand, not as grabby because it's not hanging up. Generally, I want to use a tighter thumb when I go left because then it helps me get around the ball a little bit more. It stays on my hand just a pinch longer. And when I'm playing straighter, I want a ball that's going to clear my hand super fast. All right, let's make that move back left. I'm going to make the move five off of the two previous shots. I'm going to get my hand around it just a little bit now. How did that not hit it? Wow. Wow, but it's definitely smooth off the back of the pattern. It's predictable, which is what we want. That's definitely what this ball is designed for, predictability. Good sport tournament pattern ball. Or high rev guy that wants to play straighter in league. Right, let me try to make a small adjustment on that same shot. See if we can get the 10 out. And I missed left. Rotated my hand around it just a pinch more and I missed left and she got going. I'm gonna have to adjust this thumb a little bit before the next review. All right, just gonna move five more left. Just give it a little moisture. Gotta go. Uh, I am actually going to fix this thumb right now because that's driving me nuts. A little too quick off my hand. So bear with me for a second, folks. I'm gonna try and move some tape up. Get to stay on my hand just a pinch longer. Reset that while we're waiting. See if that's better. It feels better. Let's see if it is. All right, try again. Hopefully it doesn't hang up now. Better. There we go. That's better. So just pay attention to the round shape. You don't. You watch it. It's not jerking off the spot. It's not completely going crazy. It's not a hockey stick type motion. It's more like the letter C. I'm gonna get against the ball return now. Oh, man, that was pretty good too. See that one kinda stung off the back of the pattern just a pinch. Now that I'm left and I'm kind of slow wheeling it to the right, let's get in front of the ball return. <laughs> yeah, it does a pretty good job, that's for sure. This ball's nice. All right, the new Raptor, um, or Rattler, Raptor. What am I talking about, Raptor? I'm sitting here looking at the Raptor that's sitting on the shelf over there. <laughs> but it is the Rattler by Radical. Um, I don't know that I can say that it's exactly like the Venom Shock. I think the Venom Shock was a little bit sharper down lane. This one was more controllable for me. The Venom Shock always gave me that, it felt like it was too strong for the type of ball I was trying to make it. This one seemed like to be the ball that I was looking to make it. Like it could be that smooth arcing type motion from a lower diff ball that I really like. So um, maybe like a step down from an IQ2 or even step down from that Venom Shock. So I think it's gonna fit in a ball, in any, everybody's bowling bag pretty easily um, because it'll be that smooth, predictable type bowling ball. So make sure to get yours over here at BowlerX.com uh, or BowlerX Pro Shop and Training Center. There's a link in the description. You can get yours at BowlerX.com as well. Um, but that's all I got for you today. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, hit that notification bell, comment below, and until next time, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later.